person yeah. hollow walk past that window. And that's the one I had shadow. Shadow. Yeah, yeah, It right. wasn't no like light from a, like a car. That was a shadow. In 1876, the old jailhouse in Leonardtown was officially opened, and for the next 70 years, it would become home to some of Leonardtown's darkest moments. The jail was built to replace an older single-story, two-cell building. This new jailhouse would have two rooms downstairs that served as living quarters for the jailer and their family and three cells upstairs, one for white women, one for white men, and one for all African Americans. On June 17, 1887, Benjamin Hance, a young black male who was accused of assaulting a white woman while visiting the town, was dragged out of his cell by a mob and lynched north of Leonardtown. This is the only documented lynching in St. Mary's County, according to the Maryland archives. When you visit the old jailhouse today, you can see a jar of soil from the tree that Hans was lynched from and the cell that he was held in. On April 27, 1888, 23-year-old Benjamin Bisco was legally hanged on the courthouse grounds for the murder of Captain Robert Dixon on the Potomac River on August 29, 1886. One of the night watchmen of the courthouse even told the Beacon that Bisco's ghost does certainly walk around. Over the years, there have been many stories of paranormal events taking place at the jailhouse. Many visitors and workers recall hearing noises and even seeing figures on the front lawn. We here at the Baynet, along with Andrew and Zach at the St. Mary's Museum Division, and two local paranormal investigators, Ethan and Mike, visited the old jailhouse in Leonardtown to try and prove one thing. Is the jailhouse really haunted? Honestly, I've never been to the jailhouse before, so I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know if we were going to catch anything, what equipment we were using, but I wanted to find something, so I went in there with an open mind. I don't know. I wouldn't say that I'm a skeptic. I feel like that's a little negative, but um, I, in general, I wasn't necessarily expecting to find anything particularly crazy. Um, I, f I feel like a fear factor is part of it, and I wasn't necess I wouldn't necessarily feel like I was afraid in that kind of a situation, so I feel like that was going to make me not respond to things in a certain way. Um, I have always wanted to be a believer in ghosts. Um, I've had minor uh, occurrences um, before doing a full-on investigation, um, but I, I kind of went in on the fence. You know, if something happened, okay. If nothing happened, okay. So if you, like, feel like ghost activity, are you, like, going to, like, are you, like, done? Or are you going to be, like, intrigued? Like, how's it going to... I don't know. Okay, that's It kind of depends on what it is. Yeah. If I'm touched... Now, when you say touched, do you mean, like, touched? Or do you mean, like, touched? Like, emotionally touched? Like, if you're, like, touched? <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. That's what I thought at first. I'm like, oh, you mean, like, touched? Um, emotionally touched, I have no idea, because I don't even know, that could be anything. The ghost might be wanting to make me feel happy. Might be That's true, you scared, could be... Sad, I don't know. I love jail. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um physically touched, I'd be, t I'd be petrified. Yeah. I'd be scared. I... What about you, Katie? I want a ghost to touch me. What was your plan with that? What was your initial plan? Uh, to walk around like a YouTuber. To walk around <laughs> like a YouTuber. That was her idea. It wasn't for productivity. It was so she could look good doing it. I, I don't know if I would describe that as looking You're going to scare good? the ghosts away. Like yeah. <laughs> you guys almost ready? I'm I think ready so. Ready. I was going to yeah. say, it's been about 10 minutes since it's been going down, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. We don't mean to intrude or cause any disturbance or be disrespectful, we just want to talk to you, learn some things about you, and get to know you a little bit. You want to talk to us? Can you come up and touch that red device on the ground and make it blink green like you just did as a way of saying yes?
Did you live here at one point? Or maybe you live nearby? So did you, if you lived here, if you get a little bit closer to it, it'll change colors. There's up to four different colors on that device, depending on how close you get to it. If you lived here, can you make that light up green? If you lived close by, can you make it light up a different color? So I lived here. And some of it may seem a little strange and you're not sure what it does. It's only designed so we can talk to you and hear you because we can't see or hear you where we are right now. But if you go out and put some of your energy into it like you have been, it's a great way for us to be able to talk. Yep, just like that. You're doing great. Do you think maybe you can make that light up? Some more colors for us? Can you show us the other colors on there? There's up to four. You just gotta come a little bit closer to it. Put a little bit more energy into it and it'll light up. Yellow, blue, and purple. Can you show us the blue one by chance? You don't have to be shy. You can come in here and come talk to us. I'm going to do it. Did the mic get in your way? Oh, we're going to feel it again. Do you want to keep talking to us? Let us know. There might be music outside. Mm -hmm. Car, that's a car up here. Yeah. yeah. Benjamin, is that you? Benjamin, if you're here, can you go up to that red device that you've been lighting up green? Put a little more energy into it, get a little bit closer. You make it light up yellow. A, like an outline of a person yeah. hollow walk past that window. And that's, that's the one that's that shadow. Right? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't no like light from a, like a car. That right was a now. shadow. Yeah. Just keep feeling it. It was a dark figure that just walked past that window. And that's what they used to see when that's it. Uh, so, when we were all sitting together uh, as a group uh, with the REM pod in the middle, um, I was kind of just, you know, looking around. Uh, and then all of a sudden, the window above Alex and Katie, uh, I saw a hollow, shadowy figure uh, of a person. Um, and immediately... I just, I never seen anything like that before. It freaked me out. I was like, I might have saw a ghost. And it, and actually, uh, one of the workers, uh, I think it's Andrew, um, Andrew actually pointed out uh, earlier in the day that that was a common thing that some workers actually saw. So I don't know if I saw a ghost or not, but um, it was definitely nothing I've seen before. And we tested it out and nothing came close to that, so. So after JJ saw the shadow outside the window, we went out there to investigate a little bit, just me and Alex, but we didn't find anything. None of the equipment went off at all. And even after we went outside, we tried to recreate the shadow that JJ saw in the window. And just walking by, we couldn't recreate it. So we honestly have no idea what that was that JJ saw. Everyone except for Mike is downstairs. Where are you? We know you. We know you. Yeah. Who do you know? Can you say the name of the person? That's my friend. Who, Andrew? Oh, me. Is Andrew your friend? Were you jailed here at one point? Yeah, it's real. It's my birthday. 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Look me out. I'm here. Are you stuck here? Do you need help? Did you, if you lived here, if you could, doing that 
investigation at the jailhouse was my first time doing anything like that, especially working along the professional ghost hunters. I'm a little skeptical, I'm not going to lie. I definitely think that ghosts are real. I think that some people are more prone to be able to experience those type of things, while others just can't. I think ghosts like some people more than they like other people. Um, I definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's haunted. I, I don't know if there's as many ghosts in there as I thought there would be. Um, there might be one or two lingering around, but I definitely think there's something there. There's still a presence. I didn't hear anything dramatic enough to make me feel concerned or on edge. Um, that's the, the case of having an older building, right? You hear creaks, you hear things. So, I mean, I feel like you get accustomed to that. I live in an old house, so I'm fairly used to hearing things like move around and having old bones around you. Um, but in general, I didn't hear anything specifically that jumped out at me. Oh, I thought the jailhouse was really interesting. Not being from here, the idea of converting something like that into a little community area where you can kind of go and like learn about the specific town that you're in uh, and repurposing it in that way and having people there all the time, having it be free to go in there and learn a little bit about the history of the area is an awesome concept. Uh, the jailhouse itself is really cool. Um, the fact that I've lived in Southern Maryland my whole life and have never visited uh, the Joe House before. Uh, it's kind of, you know, kind of disappointed that I never did it. Um, definitely, I think it was a lot different than I thought. I've always heard about the Joe House, but I didn't think it was going to be as small as it was. Um, but I think definitely having it be that size kind of shows that jails were a lot different back then. Um, and learning about the history and how jails were actually uh, ran back in that time period was really cool um, and being able to explore it the whole night uh, was really fun.